Hello and good evening. How are you doing today? It is again another Friday. Perhaps some of you are already on holidays. Uh, in that case, happy holidays. Uh, some of you are still working, so you will be able to take full advantage of this video. We are going to talk about two, two new functions, generate and generate all. And uh, what you're basically doing with these functions is join tables. So we are continuing with the theme of how to join tables. Using DAX is extremely useful to create calculations. So um, yes, without any more delay, let's begin. This is a really, really cool function. Make sure you don't miss the video. Okay, so here we are in Power BI and uh, we do have the same tables. Uh, this is the same example as I used for cross join, inner join and outer join. And I think this is useful because you will be able to compare the different functions. So for these, we have two tables. We have a manufacturing products table. This is uh, a list of bikes and uh, the cost. And then we have another table that is a stock. So which products are in stock? Okay. And uh, what we've been doing is we do, we've been doing all kinds of joins. We've done actually three joins. Let me show you. I've already have another video where I explain how joins works in Power Query. And this I think is very, very useful for understanding joins if you don't. So I have done a full outer, which is cross join, all from A and all from B. I have done a uh, left outer, right outer and inner. So only matching rows, matching rows from the left and matching rows from the right. So you have all the links below, check them out if you haven't uh, seen it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to explore, generate and generate all and see what those functions do. Okay, so let's go back to Power BI. So as I explained before, here we have the cross join, which joins all the possible combinations for both tables. You can see them here. You have the inner join, which actually gives us only the matching rows. And we have the right outer join, which ma matches the ones from the uh, left and then left outer join to the right. And the, well, it depends on how you look at it. Um, but uh, generate, let's start with that. So what does generate do? Again, these things return tables. So we create a new table. We call it generate. Generate. And it says it the expression will be evaluated for each row in the first table. Um, so if we just put, it says here, table one, table two. So if we just put the tables without anything else stock, what is actually going to give us is a cross join. So it will give us all the matching rows because it goes row by row from the first table. So it will give us all the matching rows from the first table with the second one. And if we do exactly the same with generate all, generate all and the manufacturing products and stock products, tables, sorry. It is going to do exactly the same. So you're probably wondering, okay, what is the difference? There is actually a huge, huge difference. Let me show you. So, if we just want to have uh, the an inner join, so matching rows from both tables, we can actually just generate. If we put generate, generate inner join, and we put generate, and then we put the first table, manufacturing table, and now we just put related. So it says, okay, just give me match the stock, um, the rows that you find on the next table. So only matching rows. And this is the explanation of a in inner join. That's what you see here. So it gives us only matching rows. In this case, these green ones are the matching rows. So this is what you will get. Okay. 
So it's very, very easy. So if we go back to Power BI, let's take a look at Generate All. So let's see what Generate All does. Generate And I'm actually going to write it now. So you, you can guess what it's going to do, right? So general, generate all, we take manufacturing products and now we take the matching ones from the stock table. But what generate all does, it gives us also the blanks. So you see the difference here are, um, sorry, that's not the one. Let me see. Now we have a, quite a few tables. We have generate inner join gives us only the matching rows, but generate all, it gives us the blanks also. So what is basically giving us is this one. Okay. So it doesn't eliminate the products like it does here. It just gives us the entire table from table A and the matching ones from B. So, so now you can actually probably guess how to do a right join, but I'm going to show it anyway. So this is a left join. Let's do now a right join. So generate all put it on one word and then we put right join and then we put generate all and then we put um, the other table right so if we want to get have the right join we put first the stock table and then we put the manufacturing table and that will give us exactly the opposite which is precisely what we wanted right so now we have generate and generate all. Now there is a really good thing that you can do with generate and it is you can apply of course conditions to it. So when you are generating a table you can say generate um, a table of manufacturing products but I just want to have the ones that we have in stock in um, Asia for example. So how would you go about to do that? Let's give it a go. So we have generate with condition and then you put generate, we put about manufacturing products and now we put calculate table, we put our stock table because that's the one that we want to make union with and now we said actually I just want where the stock location is Asia. And look, the magic. This is so useful to make all kinds of calculations. So it's giving you the inner join, but only for the products that are stock on Asia. And if we do it with generate all, you can imagine what the results will be with condition, so we have generate all, and then we have the manufacturing products, and then we have the calculate table, we have our stock table again, and then we have our stock location, there is Asia, and just stop for a second and think what will be the results. Now we're using generate all. so. That means that we should get what more. If you're not sure, pause the video, go back and look at the explanation before and then come back. But if you're ready, we are also getting the blanks. Okay, so this is like super useful. So now you know more ways on how to uh, join tables. It's very, very useful. So actually, if we go in here, this is the way to join tables with Power Query. For DAX, we've already covered this. And 
I hope on the next Tax Fridays video I can cover these two, right? So then we have all the ways to generate tables. So we're one step closer. Okay, so this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed our join video session and uh, we need to continue. We are not ready yet. We haven't done all the joins yet, but we will very soon. So if, if you join, if you enjoy, I'm going to talk about a join for quite, yeah. Okay. If you enjoy the video, just again, let me know by liking it and uh, share it with people that would like to know. Also, if you're new to the channel, I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Now I am on holiday, so I might miss a day or two. So. Is uh, I cannot commit to the time. It depends on the time I have available. But normally Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays, talking about everything basically, Power Query, Power BI, and DAX on Fridays. And uh, if you are new, make sure you click the bell to receive notifications when I publish a new video. Otherwise, you will not get them. Okay. So, yeah. This is all for today. Have a great, great weekend. And if you're starting your holidays, enjoy. Bye.